Today is the big day, uh, World Cup final, the game we have all been waiting for uh, and then the big emptiness afterwards. But still, uh, the anticipation is big, at least on my part and I think for everyone else. Uh, interest in soccer, who is the next world champion? I know that the teams involved are probably not the big ones that, you know, have the whole world captivated, but at least to me, I really think this is a great final. Finally having a new nation in the final that has never been there before and France is also, I mean, playing the third World Cup final, having only won one, uh, they're also not uh, regular at this stage. So it makes it for sure very, very interesting. Check out pattern against the dark blue. That's what, what we're going to see. Uh, ignore the blue here and the other, but this is kind of the matchup. Um, I'm a little bit sad that France will play in all blue and not at least with red socks. I understand they want to keep the colors separated so the red and the white goes exclusively to Croatia, although they have blue numbers and the all blue, France gets the blue. Yeah, I'm getting at least a little bit red in with my Belgium shirt. Belgium finished third. Um, Again, I was thinking a little bit more about who's the best player and I, I remain, I think it should be Eden Hazard unless Mbappé or uh, Griezmann make a uh, crazy performance tonight. I just don't think even in that case uh, it would warrant that they are the best player of the tournament. I really, really think that watching uh, the whole World Cup the most cast and performer was Eden Hazard. Even when Belgium did not look good um, in the semi-final, he was the one player that really kept it going and I think for that reason he should be considered. Modric um, should be close but I think while he took the game on his shoulders in the quarters and also in the semi, uh, before I didn't necessarily feel that way and I also have to say I didn't see really the first game of Croatia uh, just saw a little bit, you know, at the beginning of the World Cup it's all a bit of a blur. The first time I really saw Croatia was when they beat Argentina very, very soundly. Then I didn't see the next game either because I was watching Argentina and Nigeria. So yeah, I more read and saw highlights. I know that they beat uh, Nigeria deservedly and were clearly the better team. Against Iceland they were a little bit lucky. So yeah. But this is going to be an interesting final, I really think. Uh, the only hope that I have is that Croatia is not completely physically done, that they are, the exhaustion doesn't set in. Uh, if they can get the will to fight, and this seems to be a Croatian thing, um, to just needing a little bit this role that I need, we need to fight against the, resist, uh, the resistance of yeah, everyone is counting us out, we're gonna win it. Um, that's the Croatian thing, I think. Um, and that gives them wings. Uh, for us on the other side is your, I don't want to say typical, but because it's very un-French, but you know, the Western European style, uh, with a little bit more calculation, taking care of yourself uh, in the game, you know, don't go do crazy things but uh, do what you must. And that's an interesting juxtaposition of styles. Um, and still, if you ask me, I think France will, will take control of the game somewhere in the late in the first half and then probably not relinquish it. But I really hope that the Croatians get something done and we'll see a great final. I really, really hope. Uh, my heart tells me that's what it should be. My head tells me it will be a little bit of a downer in terms of play, but an early goal could change all that. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm all excited about that final. Um, said before, maybe the majority of soccer fans will not have a clear favorite or maybe anti-French sentiments, which are prevalent, might take over for many. Uh, on the other side, you know, uh, peop most people even don't know uh, who Croatia and what Croatia is. They know they have great players, but at least on my Facebook feed, they are showing up all those great um, videos about the country of Croatia. 
might be worth for you checking out a little bit about Croatia. Um, I personally haven't been there, but what I see and what I know, it's a beautiful country. Uh, and also most people that I meet in person are really nice from there. The only thing that's a downer for me for Croatia is that there are always these subjects that are either completely extremists or just misbehaving in the craziest way. Unfortunately, they have that there too, but you know. Knowing a little bit about the Balkans, it's a very, very, very hot region in every regard. Uh, and yeah, it makes it also interesting. People from the Balkans are some of the nicest that you will ever meet. But unfortunately, they're not always getting along very well. Then on the other side, I also have have to say uh, one reason why I'm not against the French is uh, although I was tortured with French in school for two years before I actually liked to love it, but I never had a bad experience in France. France is a wonderful country, uh, not only soccer-wise, but also to visit. I mean, who am I telling that? Uh, I always enjoyed being in France and enjoy even found the people welcoming the ones, the few that I met there. Uh, I never felt this anti-foreigner sentiment that many people claim that they have and that they're so full of themselves. I actually found the opposite to be true. Um, so yeah, therefore, I think I've still... Uh, no, I don't want to say split sympath sympathies. I think I'm still a little bit more in favor of the French because of my history of being a France fan and yeah put that down to uh, Zidane but also at my time when Zidane was great I really uh, spoke French very well and had a good high opinion of France um, but I would not be unhappy if Croatia wins it all and I think it would be great for soccer in general uh, having a new world champion especially one from Eastern Europe, because uh, that hasn't happened. All that is often said, and this is now the general for the World Cup in Russia, uh, with all the collusions of, you know, bribery and the World Cup being sold off uh, in 2010 when the bidding was, that might all be true. But by itself, Eastern Europe deserved a World Cup. I think Russia, for all its history, deserved to host a World Cup. This should not be an uh, exclusively Western European thing. Would it be nice to have a, a World Cup in Western Europe soon again? Yes, it would. Uh, I don't deny that. It would be nice to have another World Cup Germany, France, uh, Italy. I think that would be great. But if you want to pass it around, you need to pass it around to Eastern Europe because that's an often overlooked region, the region that gave soccer quite something. If you read a little bit about tactical history, uh, it's not the Ukraine, but Dynamo Kiev was a hotbed in developing uh, soccer. Same thing Dynamo Moscow. So uh, they have given soccer a lot and probably the best goalkeeper of all time is Russian. So I think it was a good thing that the World Cup went to Russia. I would have liked that it went in a different way to Russia. But that it was in Russia, I think this, I still think was a good thing. That uh, Russia gets a little bit more uh, into spotlight. Qatar for me is a different story. Because if there was a country in that region, uh, they, you can give it to the Arabic area. But the way it went to Qatar and with this small country, that I have more problems with. But that's a time topic for another time. I'm still hope you will enjoy the World Cup final as much as I do. I'm really, the anticipation is high. I want to see it. I want to know who, who, who's going to be. All that we've watched so far boils down to this one game. I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, you'll get my thoughts after the World Cup final. So enjoy. Up until then, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.